NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has just revealed that the most powerful source of light in the early universe was not the giant stars or massive galaxies, but the tiny, faint, and numerous dwarf galaxies. In this video, I will explain what this means for our understanding of cosmic rayonization and the role of dwarf galaxies in the history of the universe. This discovery sheds new light on one of the most mysterious and crucial phases of the universe's evolution. So, if you are curious about this, then keep watching. Cosmic rayonization is the process by which the neutral hydrogen gas that filled the universe after the Big Bang was transformed into ionized plasma by the intense radiation from the first stars and galaxies. This happened about 13 billion years ago, when the universe was only a few hundred million years old. Rayonization is like a cosmic dawn, when the universe became transparent and visible for the first time. It is one of the most mysterious and crucial phases of the universe's evolution as it shaped the formation and evolution of the first structures and influenced the properties of the galaxies we see today. But how do we know that rayonization happened? And how can we study it? Well, one of the main sources of evidence for rayonization is the cosmic microwave background, or CMB, which is the oldest light in the universe, dating back to 380,000 years after the Big Bang. This is a snapshot of the universe when it was still hot and dense, before the formation of any stars or galaxies. By analyzing the tiny variations in the temperature and polarization of the CMB, we can infer some information about the rayonization process, such as when it started and ended, and how much of the hydrogen gas was ionized. However, CMB alone cannot tell us much about the sources of the ionizing radiation, or how they affected the structure and evolution of the universe. For that, we need to look at the light from the first stars and galaxies themselves, which is extremely faint and redshifted due to the expansion of the universe. And this is where the Webb Telescope comes in, as it is designed to detect and study this elusive light. Webb is designed to peer into the deepest and darkest corners of the universe. Using its near-infrared spectrograph, or NIRSPEC, Webb was able to measure the spectra of more than 100 ultra-faint galaxies that existed during the rayonization epoch, some of which are 10,000 times fainter than what the Hubble telescope could see. By analyzing the spectra, the scientists were able to estimate how much ultraviolet light these galaxies emitted, and how much of that light escaped into the intergalactic medium. But why is ultraviolet light so important for reionization? Well, ultraviolet light has enough energy to break the hydrogen atoms into electrons and protons, creating ionized plasma. This plasma is electrically charged and therefore interacts with the CMB photons, scattering them in different directions. This is how we can detect the signature of rayonization in the CMB. However, not all of the ultraviolet light from the galaxies can reach the intergalactic medium, as some of it is absorbed or scattered by the dust and gas within the galaxies themselves. This is why we need to measure the escape fraction, which is the ratio of the ultraviolet light that escapes the galaxies to the total ultraviolet light that they produce. The higher the escape fraction, the more efficient the galaxies are at ionizing the universe. Webb found out that the faint galaxies are immense producers of ultraviolet light, at levels that are four times larger than what was previously assumed. This means that most of the photons that ionized the universe likely came from these faint galaxies, which were the most abundant galaxy type during the rayonization epoch. Webb also found out that the escape fraction of these galaxies is very high, ranging from 20% to 80%, depending on their mass and age. This means that these galaxies are very efficient at ionizing the universe, as they lose very little of their ultraviolet light to their internal dust and gas. These results are surprising and exciting, as they challenge the previous models and assumptions about the rayonization process and the sources of the ionizing radiation. Before Webb, most of the studies focused on the brighter and more massive galaxies, which are easier to observe, but also less numerous and less efficient at ionizing the universe. However, Webb Telescope has shown that the fainter and less massive galaxies, 
which are harder to observe, but also more numerous and more efficient at ionizing the universe, are the dominant contributors to the reionization process. This discovery has profound implications for our understanding of the early universe and the role of dwarf galaxies. This discovery unveils the crucial role played by ultrafaint galaxies in the early universe's evolution, as they produce ionizing photons that transform neutral hydrogen into ionized plasma during cosmic reionization. It also highlights the importance of understanding low-mass galaxies in shaping the universe's history, as they are the building blocks of larger galaxies and the seeds of galaxy clusters. However, this discovery is not the final word on the reionization process, as there are still many uncertainties and unknowns. For instance, how did these faint galaxies form and evolve? How did they interact with each other and with the surrounding environment? How did they affect the properties of the intergalactic medium and the cosmic web? These are some of the questions that the Webb Telescope and other future observatories will try to answer in the coming years. This discovery sheds new light on one of the most mysterious and crucial phases of the universe's evolution and opens up new avenues for exploring the origin and evolution of the first structures and galaxies. Webb is truly a remarkable instrument that is revolutionizing our understanding of the universe and its history. And this is just the beginning, as Webb has many more surprises and discoveries in store for us. Stay tuned for more updates, and thanks for watching.